Uh, before we sign off, we do have some folks chatting on the uh, YouTube chat. I'm having a tough time signing into it right now because I am currently technology um, just illiterate for some reason today. But um, I know one of our, our uh, folks in the chat uh, was is a Buffalo Bills fan. And we, you know, we, we talked about the Buffalo Bills a little bit uh, in our NFL playoff matchup segment. So here we're going to do an impromptu 11, 11th uh, topic tonight. And, Sounds uh, good. You know, as, as a Patriots fan, you never want to see an a AFC East team make the playoffs over the past, but unfortunately – Everything must come to an end. The Bills have been excellent this year. And I think if you look at the maturation of Josh Allen and what the, the Bills have done to surround him uh, with good players in Buffalo has really helped his development. Because when he came in the NFL, he always had the big arm, the athleticism, the size. He wasn't accurate in college at Wyoming at a, at a, at a smaller school, not a Power 5 conference. But, you know, Folks who saw him at Wyoming also always said his, the talent around him at Wyoming wasn't great. They had a lot of receivers who had a lot of drops, so it wasn't necessarily that he wasn't throwing the ball accurately. That it was that receivers weren't catching it, but the accuracy was still an issue his first couple of years. Well, they get him Stephon Diggs. You know, they have Devin Singletary, they have Zach Moss, they have Knox as the tight end, they have a few other. You know, Cole Beasley they picked up two years ago, I believe, and now he's throwing the ball over the yard, and now you're seeing that Josh Allen is an elite quarterback in the NFL because of how he was surrounded with good players and also his development. You know, I give my hats off to two people in particular, the front office of the Buffalo Bills deciding that they were going to go out and take control of this division. And the way that they went out and did that was by going out and acquiring Stefan Diggs. You've seen that he's clearly changed this team and has been that number one main weapon for Josh Allen. He broke records for the Buffalo Bills in receiving yards and receiving catches this year. And he's really been that main cog that is driving this team forward. So the front office going out and saying, hey, we're getting sick of the Patriots winning this division. The Patriots were the ones that really need to go out and make a move for a wide receiver. They did not. The Buffalo Bills did went out and moved on one of those wide receivers that is on the market that I like that I talked about. I mean, honestly, the rumor was that Odell Jr. Odell Beckham Jr. was on the market from Cleveland and that Stefan Diggs was on the market from Minnesota. So who was going to go out and make a move? Nobody went out and made a move for OBJ, but people did make moves for uh, for Stefan Diggs. And I think you honestly seen that move work out for both teams as far as Buffalo and Minnesota. Minnesota got a high draft pick that they went out and spent on Justin Jefferson, who is honestly arguably going to be the rookie of the year, broke rookie receiving yards in Minnesota. But then, like I said, Buffalo got the offensive star that they needed in Stephon Diggs and the cog that, uh, that Josh Allen needed to go ahead and, and become a star himself. And I think McDermott, Coach McDermott, really deserves a lot of credit for really developing this team and driving them forward. His scheme is starting to come out and play a little bit better. And, and you're just seeing that. You're seeing that. You saw them just dominate the Patriots. They really wanted to put out a message there to the league. And I think the message was well received that the Buffalo Bills are here and that they're a powerhouse. And like I said, look forward to them beating the Indianapolis Colts in this wild card game and making waves going forward in the playoffs. Yeah, I think that they're going to be uh, a team to be reckoned with in the AFCs for a while. It's going to take the Patriots a year or two, you know, at best to kind of get back to, you know, a playoff contender in that in that division. You see Miami, they're in a pretty good spot right now, but Buffalo looks locked and loaded to be a good team for, for the next couple of years.